So I have Barbara here with me from the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Barbara, how you doing? I'm great. Thanks so much, Brittany, for asking. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And I just want to help y'all. I want to let everybody know what y'all need because I need the Harry Chapin Food Bank to be good. So, Barbara, tell me. Tell me about what's going on with, with your bank right now. The food bank. With the food bank? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we are um, we are in full throttle. You know, our mission um, is to lead the community in the fight to end hunger. Um, we are doing everything in our power to ensure that no one has to go hungry, especially during this pandemic, as we know that the need um, will only continue to climb as more and more um, Southwest Floridians um, find themselves uh, without work and without an income. Yeah, exactly. You know, I did see on the site that you um you're anticipating that many of your partner agencies are going to close and there's not going to be enough food donated because of the hoarding that's going on, which is so ridiculous. But we won't even get into that. But tell me about that. So your your shortage is on food supplies. Yeah, so, you know, under normal circumstances, you know, non, non-coronavirus, non most of the food that Harry Chapin distributes is donated to us from food retailers, food producers, and the general public. Mm-hmm. So shortages in retail stores have affected our operations, and we're sure. starting to experience significant reductions in donations from our normal food sourcing channels. Mm-hmm. So our suppliers and the retailers that we work with have suggested to us that if consumers slow down the amount of food that they are purchasing, retail stores would be able to donate product to us. And we understand, we share your concern um, for sourcing food for your family because we're trying to do it for those who are hungry. But right. the, way to, the way to help is to stop hoard purchasing. That right there, that message right there, I could replay it over and over, Barbara, because we've been preaching it here on The Freak Show as well. We know there's a shortage. It's making it hard for just regular people, for people who really, really need it. I mean, yeah, that's a big problem. And I did see, too, as well. Okay, so as far as, like, so you need people to help donate food, where can they drop off? What are the hours of operation? Sure. So, um, you know, we're accepting donations, although we are actively encouraging the population to hold virtual food drives instead of collecting food. But if you do have food that you want to donate um, and drop off, you can um, deliver it to our Fort Myers location, which is located at 3760 Fowler Street, or at our Naples location at 3940 Prospect Avenue. And we accept um, to the food bank. So instead of buying $20 worth of food and then turning around and donating that to Harry Chapin, just make the donation directly to Harry Chapin. Does all of the money go toward the supplies, the food supplies for the purchase? Well, I'm glad that you asked that question. So for every dollar that's donated to Harry Chapin Food Bank, 96 cents goes to programming and 4 cents to our administrative costs. Wow, no, that's that's pretty much almost the whole thing. Like that sounds definitely awesome. Does the food bank need gloves right now? Well, we're providing gloves um, to our volunteers. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. What is your goal for the food kits? Um, so our our plan is to utilize a drive-through distribution, which we believe offers the best prevention in the spreading of the virus. Um, our, at each drive-through distribution, we will distribute pre-packed shelf-stable food kits, and if we can, we'll supplement the kits with fresh produce products and produce. So our goal is to distribute 5,000 kits per week. These kits are roughly 20 pounds each, which would feed a family of four for five days. It costs $30 a kit for us to make. Yeah, definitely much needed. The virtual food drive is what I'm going to recommend. Just give your money. They will. It's going to be the easiest, safest right now with the coronavirus. We don't need more people having hands on things. They will take care of it. Definitely donate to the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Where can they donate, Barbara? We, you got a couple of options there. You can go online at harrychapinfoodbank.org and make a gift directly um, through our online channel. 
There's also mailing a check, which you can mail to our Fowler Street address. And that zip code is 33901. Um, if someone wants to donate stocks, uh, we can, I can work with them on that. If they have an IRA that they'd like to make a distribution from, I can work with them on that. Um, we've got some options on how to donate money. Awesome, awesome, Barbara. And volunteers, are you in need of volunteers? Um, yes, of course. We are in need of volunteers. In fact, um, I'll kind of uh, answer a question that I think you might even ask me next um, <laughs> in that, you know, how, what, what does it take to become a volunteer? Yes. So as volunteers um, arrive to volunteer, we are inquiring about their health and about um, possible recent travels. And we will not allow anyone who's been out of the country or not feeling well to volunteer. We've also adjusted our volunteer schedule to stagger and limit the number of volunteers in our facilities. And if you're interested in volunteering, you can simply go to our website and sign up to volunteer. Well, I think that's what the community needs to know about with the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Was there anything I left out maybe you want to throw in there? Yeah, no, we're, we're really grateful for your help in getting this word out. Thank you, Barbara. We're trying to do our best and you always reach out, you know, if, if it, you need this message out again, I'll always pass that info along and, and that's all we want to do is just help. No, you're doing awesome and stay safe and well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Barbara.